When I was growing up, my father would let me drive the nails when we built things together. I really enjoyed pounding nails more than driving screws. Nothing's more satisfying and barbaric than driving a nail into a piece of wood. But no ordinary wire nail will do. I much prefer the old-timey cut nails. They're far better and look nicer in the project. Smash cut 28 years later, and here we are. My loving wife was walking through a yard sale and picked up this hammer for a quarter. I liked it so much I decided to clean it up and make a new handle for it to bring it into working order. I started by dipping the hammer into a bath of water mixed with sodium carbonate to remove the rust via electrolysis. This process is really easy for rust removal. Just attach the charger's negative clamp to the steel wire suspending the rusty part and attach the positive to the metal rod in the tank. Then set the charger to trickle charge and plug it in. Soon you'll see bubbles starting to come to the surface and after a few minutes, it'll look like a jacuzzi of bubbling oxygen and hydrogen. So do this in a well-ventilated area. Once the bubbles stop, you can unplug the charger, remove the clamps, and pull the part from the bath. You can see the rust is mostly gone. Now at the sink, the part is scrubbed clean of the remaining rust. And to get down to nearly bare metal, I use a wire wheel and my cordless driver to scrub the surface clean. One could remove most of the dents and scratches at a belt sander, but I like the worn look, so I'll skip that part. Then I polish the hammer head. Finishing off with carnauba wax. Making the new handle was the tricky part. Getting everything symmetric and fit properly was key. I roughed out the handle profile at the bandsaw and then finesse the fit and feel with a block plane and spoke shave. After the handle was loosely fit, I cut a kerf for the wedge in the business end of the handle. And I like to drill a small hole at the bottom of the wedge kerf to prevent the piece from splitting when the wedge is driven in. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hammer that subscribe button. Nailed it. The hammerhead is then dropped onto the handle and the wedge is driven to lock it in place. With an opposing kerf, I add a perpendicular wedge for added locking power. For the finish, I apply four coats of plain old boiled linseed oil 
for a nice close to the wood feel. And there you have it, a brand new handle on a very old hammer head. It's my hope that this hammer will last the rest of my lifetime and one of my sons will want it for his tool collection when he's older. But for now, I gotta go nail something. <laughs>